Hi everyone! For today's video, I am going to be reacting to Baby the Starshine Bright's 2023 Spring Summer Fashion Show. Baby the Starshine Bright has officially released a fashion show video on their YouTube channel, so be sure to check out the original video on their YouTube channel linked down below. The show itself was held on February 5th at Shibuya Hikarie Hall A and I'm very excited to look at the new spring summer releases that Baby will be releasing. For some reason this video is 25 minutes long so pull up a seat, grab some tea, and let's have a fun time reacting. Alright, let's watch the fashion show! Okay, we're going to be starting off strong for the video and that is the Sugar Bouquet series. They are re-releasing this again, which makes me super happy to see. I love the Sugar Bouquet series. And it looks like they're releasing it in a JSK, a Pima style OP, and then the regular shearing OP, plus a new colorway, which is the lavender colorway. Wow. Yeah, that lavender looks super nice. A little excited to see people coordinating that lavender. That looks really nice. I'm very excited for this series to be re-released because I wasn't able to get the accessories last time. This was re-released in, I think, 2020, so excited to be able to add to my Sugar Bouquet collection. Man, I just really love Sugar Bouquet. And then, oh, we have another model featuring an OP, it looks like. Yeah. This looks like a Marie Antoinette inspired one piece with a lot of frills ruffles and lace. The fabric looks a little shiny, so that really adds to the ephemeral look of the series. Yeah, that looks really cute. I really love the lace that they used. Oh, and the model's hairstyle looks super cute. I think one of these days I'm going to definitely have to try that hairstyle. And then we're going to do a final walk of the Sugar Bouquet models. I'm really looking forward to the little Boston bag that the first model has. I heard that this bag can fit a lot of things and the last time they re-released Sugar Bouquet they only released the tote bags. So I'm a little excited to see both these bags being re-released. And I'm really curious to see how much actually fits inside them. All right, next up we have a, oh, I think this is a spring, no, this might be a summer one. Uh, this is a really cute yellow JSK with hearts on the front of it with ruffles. And, oh, oh, is that? Oh yeah, okay, there are gingham ruffles. Which really adds to the feel of this. And then the OP is in red, yeah, okay. I like that look. It looks super cute in summary. I really love the contrast between the solids and the gingham. It looks really nicely balanced. However, it's done that thing again where Baby the Star Shambright only decorates the front and not the back. And then another series, definitely another summer series for sure. I really like how they decorated that parasol. Definitely not opening that anytime soon. It is a blue series with a lot of layers love the layers. That looks super cute. And then another summer sort of release. This is a gingham with flowers on it. This looks very pink house but not as long in terms of the length. It looks super cute and perfect for summer for sure. Not too sure about these sleeves but yeah no that is a solid series. Once again, really wishing that Baby did that heart detail design that they did on the front, also on the back as well. Alright, another series. Oh, okay, this is the Sakura Kumia series. This was recently released and I heard that this was a bloodbath. Baby the Starshine Bride itself hasn't actually done a Sakura series before, so I thought that the series was super cute. I believe this comes in four different colorways, the ivory, pink, sax, and black. I really love these models winning it. It looks so cute. And oh, oh, little Usukumiya blouses in the back. Absolutely adorable. A really great series from Baby the Starshine Bright. And if you also saw the jewelry for it, super cute. 
The next model looks like they are wearing a chiffon piece. That looks really airy and perfect for summer months. Yeah, that looks lovely. And then another sort of spring summer series. This one looks like Michael's Blessing, sort of, but not really. And I can't tell if this is blue or lavender, but it looks blue. Or is it lavender? I really can't tell, but that fabric looks very shiny and very nice. And then we have the pink version of this. Yes, okay, that's, that's definitely the pink version. Oh, it's got scallops on the bottom. Okay, that's adorable. I really love the headdress for this. That's really cute. Yeah, the scallops on the bottom, adorable. Oh, and another Usukunya blouse. That looks to be fully sheared too. Mm. Next up, a OP. Oh, okay, it's got gingham ruffles on it. Definitely a summer release. And it looks like that headdress actually has little Usukunya ears. Huh, that is so cute. Okay, not really feeling the colorway sort of contrast, but the little accessories make it super adorable. I really love the little hair ribbons that they have in there. That just is super cute. Alright, this next series is a printed series of some sort. I know this features teacups and it doesn't really show up very well on the pink or the blue colorway that's coming up, but I think it's super cute. This is a series that I'm very, very interested in seeing in person. This comes in two different cuts for the JSK and then one OP. And then the confirmed colorways are of course the pink, the blue, and the black. I think this is a really cute series. I love the shininess of this fabric. Definitely polyester, but I think it's a super cute. But I think it's a super cute series and I look forward to seeing what it actually will look like in photographs compared to the fashion show walk. All right, upcoming is the black colorway. You can definitely see the contrast and the print itself on this series on the black colorway. Super cute featuring hearts and teacups and yeah, it looks like a really solid series with little dot ribbons. Looking forward to that one. And then next is a ribbon series. Baby the Starshine Bride always does a ribbon series and I really like this one. It's super cute in terms of the asymmetric bow design. It's quite contrasty and quite nice. I really enjoy these sorts of series from Baby the Starshine Bride, even if I don't wear it myself personally. The amount of tiers and layers to this is super gorgeous. Next up is an Usakumio sort of one. This looks like a white rabbit inspired sort of dress. Lots of ruffles and layers. And it's got polka dots instead of gingham this time. So that's super cute. I really love the contrast of the red ribbon with the white, plus the little bunny head bow. Super cute. I might try that sort of coordinate in the future. All right, up next is the summer series. Okay, this is a strawberry series, which features parfaits. Baby hasn't done a parfait series in a while, but this has matching Usukumi clothes, so a little excited to see what this series has to offer. It has strawberries and it looks super cute. And it comes in the pink, blue, and black colorways. Yeah, this will look like a really good summer series to have. The contrast of the reds in the black though, that looks really, really nice. And those Usukuma clothes look super cute though. Is the back sheer? I cannot tell. The back of the OP may be sheared, maybe not be, but we'll see when that series is released. It does look the same cut of dessert OP though. Next up is a cafeteria sort of series. That looks super cute. Oh, with a little headdress that looks like a maid's cap. Oh, that's super cute. I really love the basket that Usakumi is in. Yeah, that's a great series for summer. Oh, and this model also has ribbons on the back of their hair too. That's so cute. And next up we have a blue one. Oh, it features a larger Usukumia in blue. 
I've been dying to get this Usukumi and I still haven't gotten it. This features polka dots and oh, the ruffles on the bottom here have that ribbon on it. That really contrasts. Oh, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, this looks like a solid series. All right, next up is a Morhime style series. This features birdcage accessories, so maybe that has something to do with this series itself. I can't really tell what's on the dress itself, but it is made out of a polyester chiffon blend of some sort. Very shiny, very bright. And I think this is gonna really cater to the Hime crowd. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at all those layers and ruffles. Yeah, that looks very elegant and very nice. Oh, I really like the hairstyle that they picked for this. This is super cute. Wow, look at those flowers in that hair. Yes, very nice. I think it's interesting that the ruffle on the bottom is a contrasting pink that colorway and then it looks like mint is the other colorway this is the op cut yeah that looks really nice i think hime lolita might be making a comeback this year that looks really really nice next up is a solid series this one definitely focuses more on the cuts itself very interesting usage of fabric. There's also a lot of different textures in that. Yeah, I really like that. Very interesting. And it looks like the same sort of series. Once again in chiffon, lots of layers, lots of ruffles. A very shiny fabric that screams luxury it seems yeah it looks really nice very very fluffy once again the little hair ribbons that's a really cute detail and then another op once again with more ruffles and bows Why does it look like there's something printed on the lace itself? That lace is, the lace looks really interesting. Huh. And, oh, okay. This is the re-release of Elizabeth. I believe this is the more Momoko version. They have re-released this one on Baby's site already, and it did sell out. This one only has three layers of lace instead of the four, but I think this is more true to the Momoko version in Kamikaze Girls. Super cute though. Yeah, that looks really nice. Love the contrast between the reds and the whites. All right, moving on. Okay, we are at the OTT made to order section of the show. So we have the Starshine Bright releases these OTT pieces that are over $3,000 each and it's a whole series and set so when you purchase it you purchase the whole thing. This one looks really cute with the amount of ruffles and layers. And they usually come in a few selected colorways. The purple one looks really nice. This blue one with the pink bows also looks nice but I think the lavender just like really popped compared to this one yeah look at the amount of bows and ruffles on this series and I'm pretty sure that baby has released these series on their website however I'm not too sure which one's which I know some of them feature butterfly lace but I'm not too sure which one it is for this section of the fashion show Next up, I believe this one is a blue and green series. 
The lighting doesn't make it easy to tell what kind of color it is. Yeah, that's a definite green <laughs> piece. I think that's a pretty interesting color contrast with blue, white, and emerald green. Interesting. It's an interesting color choice. The back looks super cute though. And I really love the concept of the bonnet with the veil on the back. One of my favorite layering things to do when I try to wear OTT. Next up, I believe this is a Tipao inspired coordinate. So this is really catering to the Chinese Lolitas. I believe the lace for this one is actual butterflies and flowers. The cut of it looks really, really nice. And I really love the amount of layers that this series has. Check out those sleeves though. Gorgeous. So many layers. Next up is a red piece. Ooh, okay, this one features the butterfly lace for sure. It's very OTT, very long. I'm kind of curious to know what kind of petticoats they used for these because that is not a regular petticoat for sure. Yeah, look at the sleeves on this one. So many layers. It looks really, really nice. Though I'm pretty sure because it looks that nice, it is over $4,000. <laughs> Next one, it also looks to be from the same series, but in the pink colorway. I really like the fluffy fans. That is super cute. Wow, seriously, what petticoat are they using for this? Definitely a hoop one, but still, that is just, wow, look at the amount of poof. Think of all the space you'll take up in a subway. Wow. Yeah, the amount of layering that goes into these pieces are amazing. It really justifies that $4,000 price tag, you know what I mean? Next up is a blue series. Oh my goodness. Look at that head bow. That head bow just is so out there. Oh my goodness. I believe this is also a butterfly series. Baby was really into the butterfly lace this year for their OTT series. And oh yeah, the, the head bow really, really personifies that and that wig though. If you're gonna do OTT, like this is how you do OTT. And that is the red colorway of this series. Yeah, that looks really lovely. The head bow really is just like a butterfly on your head. How does one actually wear this out and about normally? I don't think anybody would, but still, wow. Absolutely, wow. Oh, there's the matching little butterfly bow in the back too. Oh, that's a cute little detail. Yeah, that's adorable. All right, here we are. Are we at the most opulent pieces now? It sure looks like it. We got a matching Kumia. Is this the Merida Kumia series again? <gasps> oh, they brought out the confetti. Okay, it looks like a Merida Kumia series then. Wow. Okay, this amount of layers and ruffles and lace looks like it's really suffocating. I, I'm feeling for the model. That looks really heavy. <laughs> Love the gloves. Yeah, whatever they use for that petticoat, I like deep now. Headdress, once again, super cute with that veil. So this is definitely an over $5,000 dress. <laughs> and, oh, all right, here it comes in the red colorway with the matching Usakumya clothes. Yeah, that is, that's OTT, all right. Oh, it looks like it features strawberries and flower lace. Ah, oh, and little kumias on the bodice. Okay, that looks super cute. Yeah, these sorts of OTT dresses are very fun to look at, but I'm pretty sure the models are dying on the inside. These ones 
it could be very, very heavy for sure. Oh, and then it looks like the classic Marie de Cumia series. Yes. So maybe re-releases this dress and it's meant to be a sort of wedding dress. It's absolutely gorgeous and oh yeah. That looks really cute. The amount of lacing used, yes. I love the OTT section of Baby's Fashion Shows. It's so cute, but also like really, really opulent. And I really feel for the models because they require such big petticoats and the hair pieces are really heavy, plus the lace is really heavy. And with that, we are going to be closing out the show with the final model walk. Looking at all of these series, I think they're all solid series from Baby the Star Shine Bright. And I'm really looking forward to a few series that are being released. Yeah, super adorable. Look at all these series. Wow. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, I can really see why this video was like 25 minutes long. They really covered all aspects of this fashion show instead of just quick little snippets of each series. And then at the end, it's showing all of the designers walking down the runway. Lovely. Okay. And with that, we are done the video. Let me know what you thought about the upcoming series from Baby the Star Shine Bright for the spring summer series. I think this sort of fashion show is really fitting for the spring summer and I'm looking forward to seeing more details from all of the releases. I will be reacting to the Alice and the Pirates section of this fashion show as well, so please look forward to that video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!